Have you ever heard of the friction circle? Some people call it the traction circle. I call it the grip circle. You can let me know later what you know it as if you ever even heard of it. The grip circle can be a little complicated, but it doesn't have to be. And on a very basic level, all it's explaining is that your tires give you a limited amount of grip to be shared across three things. Your steering, your braking, and your acceleration. Let's call this your throttle cut. This is your steering cut and your braking cut. This is your tires and the water inside is the grip available, 100% of the grip. So on the straight, all of your grip through acceleration and you'll play it gently. You don't want to spill any, you don't want to spill any grip. That'll be wheel spin and you'll lose time. Now approaching the braking zone, we're going to transfer all of your grip to your braking cup. And again, you play it gently. Steering is straight. There's no steering input. You're completely off the accelerator, the throttle. So 100% is in your braking cup. Turning in, we're going to be giving some of the grip to your steering, to your steering cup. Gradually. At one point, you'll still be on your brakes. And then you will play some more steering input. Until eventually, 100% of the grip is in your steering cup. Then you sting the corner. You'll give some grip from the steering cup to your throttle cup again. Knowing the basics of the grip circle and operating smoothly within it can help you to become more consistent and gain a lot of lap time.